Hello everybody, my name is Sean. I'm with Prince Callan Curtain Design. Today I'd like to show you how to calculate how many widths you would need to make a full professional looking curtain. The calculation is the opening width of the window or door plus the stack back. That is a name we use in order to get the fabric during the day off the glass in the window and onto the wall in order to allow maximum light through. The fabric is going to have to be ruched, in other words, gathered. It can't be flat. It's ruched like this in order to give a full look. We create the stack back in order to get the fabric off the window, as I said, and on to the wall during the day. Now let's start with some measurements. The first thing we do is we measure the opening width. In this case, that is 68 inches. But as I said, we need to get the fabric off the window during the day so as we get allow maximum light through. We create the stack back that I mentioned. In this case, I would like to see 10 inches. Whatever you do on the left, you do on the right. But there are exceptions to the rule. So now we've established that the width of the window opening is 68 inches. We add 10 left and 10 right. That gives us 88 inches. If you multiply 88 by 2.5 times in order to give the fullness that I just mentioned, you will get 220 inches. Now the standard width of fabric is 54 inches. Again, there are exceptions. But if we divide 220, which is our opening width, plus 10 inches stack back left, 10 on the right, we divide 54 into 220, we get 4. So now we know we want 4 widths of fabric to give us a nice full curtain when that curtain is drawn to centre in the evening. There's nothing worse than to see the curtain on the window and the fullness just isn't there. It's usually too late to do much about it because even if you bought more fabric to add to it, the chances are that this will be a different dye batch. And while they may look the same, separated, when you put them together, they could be as different as chalk and cheese. So now we've established four widths is what we need here to give us a good fullness, two and a half times the overall width of the curtain. And we want a nice long drop ceiling to floor on this one. So we check our ceiling to floor measurement. We find that it's 98 inches. In a previous video, I told you how to calculate repeat match on the fabric. In that particular example, it was 25 inches. So in other words, if you have a feature in the fabric and you want it to match all the way across on all four widths, you know that with a 25 inch repeat, the fabric will cut at 75, 100 or 125. Now in this case we have 98 ceiling to floor. We must allow 10 from hems and headings. That gives us 108. It, the fabric won't cut at 108 if the repeat is 25. It will cut at 125. We know we have four widths. So now we know that we need 4 at 125. 4 widths of fabric at 125 inches is 14 yards. And that's the amount of fabric we need to give us a nice, full, professional curtain. Follow those simple rules and you'll be alright. Sean Callan, Bridget Callan Curtain Design. Thank you for watching.